Hi guys, this video I'm going to go back to the basic and walk how can we implement an input algorithm to sort an array. Uh, the algorithm that I'm going to walk through in this video uh, is the quick. So let's quickly uh, look at the question over here. We are given an array. We just have to sort it as simple as that. And uh, this question was asked by uh, Amazon, Adobe and Yahoo in the past six months. So let's take a look at the uh, time and space complexity for quick, quick. So the quick sort takes uh, on average uh, n log n time. And in the worst case scenario, it will be uh, big over n square. And for space complexity, it big over log n in the average case. In the worst case scenario, it will be big over n. Um, so this algorithm is based on uh, the divided and conquer uh, approach and also uh, it uses a uh, the partition to um, to implement the algorithm as a walk through the so the code is not particularly hard just a few lines actually um, if the length of the given array is less than or equal to one uh, if this is zero that means it's an empty array and if that's equal to one that means it's only it contains only one number and that has been uh, sorted by default, right? So we just return that uh, given list, and uh, we need uh, three uh, partitions. One is a left, middle, and right. And also, we have to keep track of the length. Okay, um, not keep track of the length. Actually, we just measure the length of the given array, and uh, we first look at the middle index, which is um, the length floor divided by two. And look at the middle guy. Okay. And so essentially, this is the pivot. Just look at the middle of the middle number of the, the array. So, for example, uh, for the a given array, looks like this. So, the length will be four. Four divided by two is two. So, the index at two will be zero, one, two. So, it's an index of three, right? For a even length array. Um, for all number will be in the, right at the middle. So we just pick a, a number right just right around the middle. We call it pivot. Okay. For all the numbers in the given array, if that number is smaller than the pivot, we append to the left at uh, the left partition. If the number is equal to the pivot, we append the number to the middle partition. If the number is greater than the pivot, we append that number to the right partition. Okay, and then we call this function recursively on the left partition, which all the elements on the left partition are smaller than the the pivot, which in which case all the number which are equal to the pivot are in the middle. Okay, and also we do the same thing, and then we concatenate on on the right partition, and then we concatenate this three partitions and then we do the same thing for the left, part left partition and also the right partition recursively until we reach to the exit condition which is where um, there's only one element in the given array let's run that oops there's a bug in here right so uh, the, the length is not defined actually I should uh, pull this guy over here, run again. Now it works. So this is clean implementation of the quick sort algorithm to this little problem. I hope this video is helpful. If it is, please like and subscribe. That will be a huge support. Remember, don't trust this video. Try yourself. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye bye.